Welcome everybody. I am here with Kevin Jablon, the CEO of Spartan Surfaces, and Steve Kurtz, the president of SalesMaster. Uh, he's a little nervous today, but we're gonna loosen him up a little bit. On June 23rd, Spartan Surfaces acquired SalesMaster, um, and it's been a fantastic ride over these last couple months. Um, we really wanna get into the meat and potatoes behind it, the history of how it all went down, and why we all feel like we'll be better together in the future. Um, but before we get there, I think it'd be really important to kind of introduce you, Steve, and kind of how you got into the business. I got into the business. My father founded SalesMaster in 1961, and uh, after working as a accountant CPA for several years, I realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do. And I spoke to my father about what my next steps were in the future, and his words to me were, I don't know exactly what this business can do, but you'll be in charge of your own destiny if you're in business by yourself. And the rest is history. And uh, we turned out to build the business into something that I'm very proud of with a lot of people that I'm very proud of. So at what point did Kevin walk into your life? <laughs> <laughs> the worst day of his, the worst day of his it, life. It was a dark day, it was, it, it was snowing and <laughs> raining, but no. Actually, Kevin walked into our, into our lives. We, we were a Ropey distributor in 1984, and I want to say early in the 2000s. 2004. 2004, Kevin um, was the North Jersey rep for Ropey, and that's how we met Kevin. And as usual, when you meet Kevin, you fall in love with Kevin. <laughs> And a lot of people don't. <laughs> no, that's, 90 10. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. He, uh, he had an amazing energy, an amazing outlook on life, and loved business. Couldn't wait to get up in the morning and, and sell and make things happen. And the relationship just continued to grow. And even when he left Ropey, we kept in contact. There was a brief period of silence. Steve and then, was scared to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, absolutely true. And then we reconnected, and from that point on, we always saw the, the idea that our business was servicing the contractor with logistics, build it and they will come, and Kevin's concept was, we're gonna have the best sales agency out there that we know how to do, we're gonna hire the best salespeople and drive business. And eventually, it made sense, what we do best isn't what they do best, and what they do best isn't what we do best. And so, as we go forward, we're starting to see the benefits of that situation, the marriage together. There's no doubt. Joe, can I chime in real quick? Yeah. This is a question for you. I'm going to flip this for oh, a sec. Here we go. I have a Steve Kurtz trivia question. Okay, shoot. Do you know something really interesting about Steve in regards to his high school career? I don't. You are looking at the valedictorian of his high school. Ooh. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. Because math was your subject. Absolutely. Yeah. And you still love the accounting side of this whole thing? No, not anymore. <laughs> only, <laughs> only his golf scores. Yeah. No, no. Well, so if you start to get into this, if you got into the those are creative of golf scores. Yeah. <laughs> if you get into the strength and weaknesses of the two of you, I think that's probably no chance. This guy he goes by the 2.0 CEO, and meanwhile you're the valedictorian. That's right. You're the numbers guy. He's the people person. Joe, I got a question for you because oh, okay. just so we've talked about what we think is happening here. What do you think and what do the people at Spartan think about this acquisition? That's a great question. And it's funny because I actually hesitate using the term acquisition. Because uh, to me, this is more of a partnership. And as, as, I, as I wrote down notes of things to bring up here, I, I, that, writing that down, I was like, well, that doesn't, that's not what it feels like to me. And we'll get into like the crux of this as we go forward, but we'll really dive deep into that aspect of what you guys bring to the table and what we bring to the table. But everyone at Spartan Surfaces, especially the people that have been up in the Northeast and have seen that region not thrive the way other markets and territories have. And when they look at what, what's going on today, as we bring these two organizations under one umbrella, they get excited because they see, once again, that the issues that we had up there are not your issues. And there are the things that you guys are actually very strong at. So as these things come together, our team's super excited. Um, and I'm hoping your team is too, because this, uh -huh. This term, better together, we don't want it to be just a slogan that disappears as the years go on. We want people to look back on this and be like, wow, like what a great partnership this was. This, these guys are better together, and they did both solve the issues that they both had. 
And we hope that's going to be the case. But the biggest thing I think we bring is our people. Because you see some people that culture is, is it's not even in the top 10 of what's important to their organizations. And I, I do believe that if it wasn't something that was important to you, wasn't to Kevin and Spartan Surfaces, trying to bring these two organizations would be impossible. So both of you have done something that, again, a lot of people haven't done before, and that's they've sold their companies. So it, it's a really interesting to go through the emotions that that must lead to before and after. So I'll start with you, Steve. Before, as you're leading up to this, what are your thoughts? What are you feeling like? And then afterwards, and then today, like, where do you sit? Well, once we made the decision to go forward, I didn't really have a lot of tinges of regret or should I be doing this? I felt it was really the right thing to do for our company, for our people, for the future. I really felt that the best opportunity for everybody was to put these companies together. Um, and under the leadership of Spartan, I really believe that that's going to help us grow. And the people that work for SalesMaster, I think, have now really seen the opportunities that they're going to have moving forward, both on the sales side, the inside, everywhere, because the opportunities are boundless. And one of the things about Spartan is they believe in talent. And if there's talent there, they're going to make very good use of it. And that's what, so I didn't really have any regrets. I wasn't, you know, no seller's remorse or anything like that. Once the decision to go forward was there, I knew it was the right decision and that we wanted to make this happen. And of course, being Kevin, I was very comfortable with it. Yeah. The crux from both of you guys, though, is, is the, the caring that you had for your employees and how would it affect their lives and what their reactions would be, whether they would think you're a sellout or, you know, were you going, were you putting in the right hands of the new team at Spartan Surfaces? So there's, there's always, there's been similarities as we've gone through these questions that you guys are very much aligned with that a lot of this started to get put together at a Denny's. <laughs> I, think, I think if I remember correctly, Steve went with the Scram Slam. Um, I'm going to dim the, the, the moons over Miami. Uh, but no. Always a great one. No, but we, we met, and it was, in, it was actually Steve. I never even thought about it. I never thought we'd ever acquire anybody. This is long before F&D. This is 10, 12 years ago. And when Steve first brought it up, it was like, if I ever sell the business, may, would you be interested? And is it something that maybe we could look at? And he had a vision. I, didn't even, I couldn't even see that. I don't, well, we weren't even in New York at the time. We hadn't even expanded our business into New York when that conversation took place. So it's amazing. I mean, for me, sitting, sitting here with Steve, this is a crazy, surreal moment. It's amazing to me. Yeah. yeah. And when you told me I was going to sit down on a podcast, I said, what are you, out of your mind? Yeah, you said, <laughs> what's a podcast? <laughs> well, uh, oh, I, had a, I had a sense of it, but not really. <laughs> but so you're at the Denny's. So what, what prompted you to ask him to go to that breakfast? I always wanted to think about what was going to happen down the road. Right. And I saw that one of the things that we didn't do as well as Spartan and certain other companies was sales. I think we didn't, we always believed with the idea, the old field of dreams ideas, build the warehouse, build the logistics, build the customer service and they will come. And you want to know in the old days that worked really well and then the world starts to change and you have to change with it. And we did a little bit, but not the same way that Spartan went after the business. They disrupted the conventional agent distribution sales model, and that was a big deal. So you guys have this breakfast. At this point, we're not even, we're not even in New York. No. And I think if you look, we talk about it at Spartan all the time, about failing, failing fast. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily say we failed, but we weren't very successful. So if you go into the, <laughs> you can probably touch on why you know, why the model of Spartan Surfaces never had the same success in New York as it did in other markets? Well, for, first and foremost, it was all my fault. I, I didn't know how the world really operated nationally and the nuances of each marketplace. And we very much treated New York the way we treated DC, but we almost took for granted those years of relationships that have gotten developed in this marketplace, DC, Baltimore, Philadelphia. And we went to New York, we figured, you know, we're just gonna specify, specify, specify. We had a really good team specifying. We didn't prioritize the flooring contractor. And the flooring contractor, not just in New York now, this is a huge miss by me, 
is a huge integral part of this entire business. It is called the flooring business. The flooring contractor should play a pivotal role in this. But because I came from this crazy world of specifications, I didn't put the priority on it that I should have. So all of the, the, all of the misses and the lack of success that we had in New York, there's only one person to point their fingers at. It was me. I just missed it. And then I saw how they did it. And I saw that they did a really, really good job with the contractor. And the thing that we never even thought about. Who's going to store material for them? Um, delivering to job sites. All the stuff that was so far removed from how we handled New York. So like in my mind, I always knew that it would be very difficult for us to build it organically. That if we were going to acquire somebody, one plus one could really equal three here. Their strengths are our weaknesses and our strengths are stuff that they really hadn't focused on. And to their and almost to the credit of their reps, they never really had the product mix to do what we did. And so I always felt like if we bring this whole thing together, we're looking at it, this market as a test market to take all over the rest of the country. I mean, we're utilizing and learning from SalesMaster every single day. It, it was an acquisition, but it doesn't feel like an acquisition. We're integrating two companies together bring in the best things of both. And it's really an incredible learning experience that we're gonna be able to take all of this information and knowledge and expand it nationally across the country. 100%, and that does get talked about all the time. But we've always said, we got tough skin. Like we always understood where our weaknesses were and where our strengths were. I think to be a successful business, you have to understand what you do well and you don't do well. And I think that's a strength of uh, Spartans and Kevins and you for that matter, Joe. And I think that's something that we always took very seriously ourselves to say, what could we do better? What don't we do well? Um, to your point, the contractor was always the most important part of our business. We always wanted to take care of the contractor and service them extremely well. Probably to the point where we ignored the focus that Spartan had on architects, designers, and users to get standards put in place, specifications done. We dabbled in that end of the business but we never really, really, until recent years, really dedicated ourselves to that end of the business. When you looked at Spartan and you saw the issues that we had, like what were, what were those that, that you recognized with SalesMaster that really hit the mark for bringing this thing together? It was crazy. It was all of our weaknesses yeah. were their biggest strengths. Right. I mean, it, and it's so clear to see. Everything that we were really bad at, they're just not decent at. They're really good. And then when I was really honest and I looked at their business, I said, where they're not as strong, we're really good. And I'm like, wow, like if we can do this here and we can learn this in what I would argue is the toughest market in the United States is in New York, I felt like this would be an incredible learning experience to bring everywhere. And that's the mindset now. Like we're thinking way bigger than we ever thought before. You can see the theme here, and if when you when you start getting into the better together scenario, that that we believe the strengths and weaknesses together is really what's going to be the most powerful uh, component to this entire thing. But if you if you go through and start talking about okay, well, what are you talking about with better together? I think right out of the gate we talk about our you know our employees, the people that work at this or organization. Um, I don't even like talk, talking about them as two different entities anymore because as they come together, we're all going to be one. So when you say better together, kind of get into why it's better for, for each one of our employees and groups. Well, well, for one thing, one of the things that started out is Spartan has very, been very respectful of all of our vendor and customer relationships. Very careful to make sure that this business, that the merger, the acquisition, whatever you want to call it, doesn't get in the way of those great relationships that got us where we are. And that's important. You know, many times companies will come in and say, well, no, don't do that. You know, we're going to do something different. And that's just not the case. So that while you're cultivating new relationships, you're also making sure the existing relationships stay as strong as possible and commit to those relationships. And that makes a difference in how you build a company together. The same way that, you know, we made a commitment to major suppliers that we're going to stay with them and continue to build their brand and use Spartan people to help build that brand. And that's a very important way for our people to grow the business. What's interesting is we're very open to hear what Spartan has to offer. And Spartan is very open to hear what we have to offer. It's not a one-sided conversation. 
which really is important to everybody that wants to contribute to the success of the company. What you don't see is in your organization, our organization, you know, the work behind the scenes to get systems in place, computer systems in place, that people are working tirelessly to do that. There's a big difference about how you go to business today with a partner that wants to make you successful and you want to make them successful. And that's why, quote, we'll be better together. And it, it was it's very clear from Jump Street that the employee from both sides of the fence was the most important component. But the other side is obviously our customers. And that's one of the biggest pieces that when we look at this, if we're going to be better together, how is it better for them? Steve, take the lead. Okay. Well, listen, we now have the ability to do a lot more things because we have the financing behind this. We're going to probably end up getting bigger warehouse space, more vehicles to, to do deliveries. We have access to more products. We become more important to the customer for a one-stop shop. Um, we can do things that we couldn't do before. Uh, we always took care of the customer. They were the most, the contractors, the most important part of our business and always has been. And from our standpoint, we'll continue to be that way. But if we have key relationships through our specifying team and our contractor sales team, that's only going to increase the, our ability to service them better and to work with them to help them get projects that they need to get for themselves. And we want to, the contractor to think of us as a partner, not a supplier, not someone that they buy from, but as a partner. And I think Spartan gives us that opportunity to do that on an even greater level. Mm -hmm. KJ? There's not much to add there. Steve hit it. I mean, at the end of the day, none of this happens without the customers. Customers are the ones that are going to move us in the right direction. Um, we're going to need to figure out ways to make them more money and to make them more profitable. And F&D brings us so many synergies in terms of staged materials, being super flexible with credit lines, all those things that when Steve and I own the business ourselves, we try to do it as much as you could, but there's limitations to it. You know, we're trying to do that. The answer is yes. 90% of the time. It's literally about accommodating our customers. And our customer is everybody. Flooring contractor, end user, facility manager, designer, architect. So at the end of the day, we're, we're trying to lead with yes and not no. Sometimes you can only do what you can do. But um, when it's all said and done, we hope that by being involved with our customers, we make their business better, we create a great experience, and they're more profitable for doing business with this entity. And I think it'll be a win-win for our customers. Yeah, and neither one of us exist without our suppliers. That's it absolutely true. I was actually gonna bring that up. Our, our suppliers have been an integral part of our success. Great relationships. They've supported us through the great times and the tough times, and that's really important. My biggest takeaway is that you know how prideful I am about Spartan employees. I've always thought that our employees, not just as talent, but as people, were just top notch. And the more we got into SalesMaster, the more I realized it's extremely similar. So like I, for, to the SalesMaster employees, not just your work ethic, not just your core values and your integrity, but your talent. There's so many talented people there. Not that we didn't think it, but once you get into it and you really see it, so to the sales masters and to the sales master employees who are really now just part of the big Spartan family, we can't thank you enough for coming into this with an open mind. We can't you enough can't thank you enough for your enthusiasm, willing to share, willing to critique, willing to make us better, and you put some blind faith in Steve and in myself to make sure that this ship gets driven in the right direction and. Um, we're not going to disappoint. We're going to make you proud. Listen, I really appreciate the time today, guys. Um, I think this is one of the most exciting times I know in Spartans history. I'm sure it is for you as well. Uh, we really wanted to pull this together to really push out the Better Together slogan because there is no doubt these two organizations are going to be better together as we move forward. So if you have any parting words, um, we'll move on. I'll take the lead on this one. To sit here with you who's been in my business life forever and seen you just blossom and to sit here with Steve who's always been a mentor and someone who I looked up to in business and in personal 
you know, this is a this is a surreal moment for me. So I just can't thank you both enough. And um, and I think our best times and our best years are ahead of us. I got to tell you, I'm really excited about what this thing is going to look like in two, three, five years. I think it's going to blow up and be extremely, extremely successful for the companies, for everybody in this room, and for all the people that are with us now and that are going to be coming with us as the future uh, comes about. No doubt. That's a wrap, Chris. Do your thing. Thank <laughs> you.